Ciao, I'm Enzo. I'm Celia. This is a Piazza Talk, a channel about our life in Lucca. And in the Tuscan Hills. Please hit the subscribe button. Grazie. Viva la pappa col pomodoro. That brings back memories of car journeys. Yes, the song. Viva la pappa pappa al pappa pappa. I don't want to sing the song. <laughs> no, go on. We used to sing it so much in the car. And it's going to become a hit again with uh, being in the soundtrack of Disney's Luca. Yes, this is a famous song of 1964 and it is in a movie from a book about a child that uh, is, how would you define it, this child with uh, uh, a little bit of a naughty boy, I think. Naughty boy that is put in a boarding school and create a revolution the boarding school. So the food is bad, same food. So they create a revolution to get uh, uh, Papa al Pomodoro. They call it the song Papa Col Pomodoro, but the recipe we're going to do today is Papa al Pomodoro. And it's a typical Tuscan Florentine uh, recipe. And it's very simple, it's what is called the poor food, poor man's food. And now it's uh, healthy and uh, nice if you get the right ingredients. <laughs> but in fact, the, the boy came from a rather uh, well off uh, yes. Florentine family. And uh, his bad deeds included, I believe, shooting his uncle with a toy pistol? Or was it a real well, one? Well, <laughs> he shot somebody and, uh, and uh, body hurt, uh, body harmed the person. Anyway, he was uh, I mean, a boy with, uh, uh, we say, um, hyperactive. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, the book is great. If you happen to find an English translation, I don't know if it exists, but uh, it is great. It was written probably over a century ago. It's a classic Italian uh, um, book for children. And it's a great song for motorway Chinese. <laughs> so what exactly is Papa al Pomodoro? Uh, it is a dish made with a, a pulp of a tomato, bread and olive oil, and can be served uh, cold or warm. So what we need to create this wonderful, tasty, simple dish, we need, first of all, fresh tomatoes. Then we have basilico, basil leaves, olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, a few cloves of garlic, and one or two bay leaves, and stale bread. We need some uh, stock. So I made some vegetable stock. I put a saucepan full of hot water here. I'm going to put the tomatoes in hot water for about 30 seconds, a minute, or less, so the skin will come off. While the tomato is cooling down, we are now cutting the bread. The bread must be cut not too big. Now we're going to remove the skin from the tomato stuff, so just a cut here and squish them. Here we are. Next stage, we're going to make the base for the pappa al pomodoro. And uh, in Italy, in Tuscan in particular, we use this beautiful terracotta pot. And it cooks the, the sauce in a, a slowly or...? Yeah, slowly. And also have to use a, a diffuser. We start with this, olive oil, garlic, and a bay leaf. Now I'm going to remove the garlic and the bay leaf. I'm adding other tomatoes. What I need to do now is to break these tomatoes. Some people put everything through a meal that we have here, but we prefer to do it more in the traditional way. And now I'll do some basil leaves. And the aroma is wonderful. Now adding the stock. Now it's the time to add the bread. Now the bread has to soak the juice up. I'll serve it regularly because 
uh, you need to turn the bread into pulp. So now it's soaking and, and breaking. I think that is now ready. So, uh, the tricks should be eaten uh, warm, not too hot. So I would leave it for uh, a few minutes and then serve it. I actually like it cold. Yes. Well, you can have some now, some tonight. <laughs> now we can have it warm, tonight can have it cold. Okay, sit here. <laughs> It's so yummy and you can create this dish for four people for under a euro or just a couple of dollars. This group is known as Art in Luca and it's a group of professional local artists and details of their next exhibition is in the description box below. The cloisters were also part of a refugee centres hosting Italians expelled by Tito after the Second World War. And they left these delightful little figure of dry frescoes, which seemed to melt beautifully with the medieval ones. Thank you for watching and a super thank you to our subscribers. If you have not subscribed yet, please press the button. It's a great way to support our channel and it's free.